Welcome to the Banyan Edge Podcast. Hello, I'm Amber Lancaster, Director of Investment Research here at Banyan Hill Publishing. I must say that I am humbled to have the opportunity to guest host here on the Banyan Edge Podcast today as your regular and most esteemed host, Charles Sizemore, is out this week. So we will sorely miss Charles. I must share that we have a treat for you today. We've all been hearing a lot about artificial intelligence this year with the dawning of ChatGPT in late 2022. It's really the topic of many conversations and even quarterly company earnings. I'd like you to check this chart out. And it's all about tech giants. They're all reporting about AI this year. Tech giants like Alphabet, Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, and Apple, they mentioned the term AI almost 200 times in the last earnings quarter. Uh, this is up sharply from less than 40 mentions a year ago. So with AI permeating so many various businesses, wouldn't you think that the field of finance would be next? And the answer, well, it's a resounding yes. So today we're going to spend some time investigating the latest breakthrough AI program in the world of finance, which could soon prove revolutionary. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Keith Kaplan and Ian King. Now, Keith and Ian have a, a very special program and event planned for everyone to attend. Uh, both are going to give a preview of their upcoming summit titled the Predictive AI Investment Event, which is airing tomorrow, Tuesday, July 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, to attend this virtual event, simply sign up using the emailed link that accompanies this video. Now, I must share that Keith is one of America's leading computer programmers and data scientists. He's the CEO of Tradesmith, a company known for its groundbreaking financial innovations. And Ian, well, Ian is no stranger to the Banyan Edge podcast. In my opinion, Ian is just wonderful. And Ian is a brilliant colleague that I get to work with every day. Ian is the chief investment strategist and editor of the flagship newsletter, Strategic Fortunes, as well as premium services, True Momentum, Extreme Fortunes, and Next Wave Crypto Fortunes. So good morning, gentlemen. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome. Thank you. It's it's great to be here. I'm I'm really appreciative and honored to be on here with you. Oh uh, yeah. So hey, Amber, and we're excited to have you on with us, Keith. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely. So I understand you both have some exciting news to share in the AI investing world. So first to you, Keith, for those who may not yet be familiar, can you please tell us about your company, uh, Tradesmith, its mission, and what products and services Tradesmith actually provides to help the everyday investor? Absolutely. I mean, look, Amber, I could go on for hours about Tradesmith. So I'll just give you the, the short, sort of short picture and, and we'll we'll reveal it throughout this uh, broadcast. So we started back in 2005 with a simple trailing stop tracking website. And it was revolutionary because at the time people would have to download data, check their brokers and do all of this on their own. Ooh. And since then, we have just evolved like crazy into this really big hundred person company that is focused on financial technology and research. We have a couple newsletters, but really the bread and butter for us is creating very sophisticated systems that hedge funds would use, but making it super simple to use for the everyday mom and pop retail type of investor. So we have um, about 90,000 customers right now. They're tracking $30 billion of wealth and managing it right on our platform. And uh, I'm just so honored to be here today to be able to share what we're doing. Okay. Well, Keith, first, I wanted to say that we know the evolving intersection of AI and investing. It's inevitable. It's been happening and it's going to happen even more so going forward. So I'm so glad that you and your team of, are at the forefront of revolutionizing the paradigm shift for the everyday investor where AI and investing is concerned. Now, from what I understand, you and your team of data scientists, software engineers, as well as investment analysts, have developed a groundbreaking AI program that can predict the future near-term price movements for stocks. So can you tell us, Keith, more about this program? What is its name? What do you call it? Uh, and what can it do? 
Absolutely. So um, I'll start with its name. We actually call it Annie, and it's short for analytical engine. And we started truly building this about six years ago when we got into the forefront of AI and machine learning to help us to really understand our algorithms better, what the behavior of people you know, have as a herd with stocks, and started applying it. And about two years ago, we said to ourselves, what if we used machine learning different? I'll explain what machine learning is and how it compares to AI. What if we use this different? And we used it to really help us find stocks and figure out what the stock's short-term move is going to be. It's nearly impossible to use a machine to figure out what's going to happen two to three years down the road. But it's actually really easy to apply all of our methodologies, our data, and configure machines to help us predict what's going to happen to a stock within 30 days. And really, we can go out to 90 days wow. in our trials, but we we focus very heavily on what's happening in the next 30 days. And so for anybody who, who isn't familiar with AI, and, and I'm sure you've seen a lot out there about um, how to invest in AI, we are using AI to find investments versus finding a stock that you can invest in that is all focused on AI. Something like NVIDIA, as we've seen run up like crazy this year. So when we think of artificial intelligence, we're really thinking of feeding data to a machine and having the machine sort of analyze patterns and look at what those patterns are to learn and grow. But you don't feed it human bias when you're doing that sort of thing because we are very flawed as humans. We're very uh, emotional. We sort of lead with our gut, and that's not the way that you want to train a machine on on how to work. Machine learning is really a subset. It's a it's a derivative of artificial intelligence. So it is artificial intelligence, but it's a very focused sort of atmosphere. And so the way you use machine learning is you feed it a ton of data, historical, present. You're looking at things like macroeconomic factors fundamentals and technicals, and you feed that machine all of this data. And then you you tell it to analyze price movement over history and figure out which factors weigh out at each point in time for every single stock and fund out there, and then leverage that to look at what's happening right now in real time and make a 30-day prediction of what's going to happen. So the summary of it is that we are using artificial intelligence and machine learning to figure out what we should invest in but not necessarily just trying to find AI-driven stocks to invest in. That's hmm. really amazing. So Ian, I'd like to bring you into the conversation. You have been in, in the investing world for well over 20 years now, working with- Oh Renato. boy, I, you're dating me, Amber. You no, know, but that's a good thing. That's really <laughs> Because you know things and you know that there are Wall Street firms mm -hmm. that have been using AI. Can you share some examples of what you think about AI and investing and does it help beat the market? Absolutely. And I, I think a, a dirty little secret on Wall Street is that over the last 10, maybe even 20 years, Wall Street's hired more data scientists than they've actually hired economists. Wow. Um, and I want to share with everyone um, another kind of unknown secret about Wall Street. Mm -hmm. And what you're looking at is the chart of the world's top investors. And everybody knows who Warren Buffett is, and they assume that he's the greatest of all time. And he is over 50 years, probably the greatest of all time. But in the last, let's say, 30 years, his performance has been doubled by a guy named Jim Simons at the Medallion Fund. Medallion is a fund run by Renaissance Technologies. They're a very discreet fund out in Long Island. Mm -hmm. They manage tens of billions of dollars and their advantage has been they don't hire economists. They don't even hire traders. They hire data scientists and computer programmers. And the main advantage they have is they have had they've collected the best data sets from around the world, from everything that Keith talks about, macroeconomic indicators and technical indicators. Um, and they've used that to train their models. Now, the average retail investor can't replicate what Medallion has done over time because a lot of their trading traders are very short term. So they can get in and out really quick. It's it's very programmable. But <clears throat> when I was introduced into what Keith has done, I said to myself, I am so happy that somebody is applying the new techniques of artificial intelligence and machine learning for the average retail trader right now, because nobody else is doing it right now. Right. I mean, eventually, in Keith, you probably know, TD Ameritrade is going to catch on and E-Trade. Yes. But now is the time where you have the opportunity to get ahead of that pack 
while you can still, you know, make these predictions using AI before everybody else starts looking at the same data sets that you are, which is why I think it's so pertinent that people listen to our webinar tomorrow night and really focus on what we're saying, because this is the first time that anyone has used the new types of AI models that we're seeing out in the wild, like ChatGPT and Google's Bard, and apply that same type of technology to investing strategy. So, you know, I, I can't be more excited about what we're going to discuss on uh, Tuesday night here. I agree. And I think I have a small sneak peek that I like to see if Keith can expound on of what you'll discuss tomorrow evening. Mm -hmm. And it's actually using a company uh, named Martin Marietta Materials. I'm going to share my screen so everyone can follow along. So this particular uh, screen is showing a, a chart of what a what would be the potential predicted return of MLM? So could you walk us could you walk us through this, Keith? Which is what you're seeing here in this first Absol chart? Absolutely. So what you see to the left before that X comes in is what's been happening with MLM over the past few months before this prediction was made. Mm -hmm. Then you see the red X. This is the point where we predicted a couple weeks in advance, thirty days in advance, and then sixty days in advance. And the way we do that is we use actually trading days. So it's about 10 trading days, 21 trading days, and then 42 trading days. Hmm. And what happens is when we make those predictions, our machine is doing all the work. We feed it no bias at all. The only thing we do is feed it real-time data plus about 50 years of historical data that it's always building and mining. And so what the machine is doing is it's looking at this and it's saying, you know, MLM is going to be relatively flat in the very short term. It's going to go up more in the, the near term of 30 to 60 days. And I hope you have the next chart where it shows what actually happened because perfect. What this will do is you are never going to be able to, to sit there and say, oh, it said it was going to be flat in just about two weeks, but it looks like it went down first and you start to panic. And this is where you want to take your own human bias out of the equation because stocks, they zig and zag. If you look at what happened to MLM in the about 45 days prior to this prediction, you can see it's all over the place. And you can even see with the pre predictions, it's all over the place. So you really have to normalize that data and humans can't do it, but the machine can to be able to make these very accurate predictions as you go. And we tell people when they use, when they use this and they have a target, as soon as it goes above your target, it's a great time to sell. Close that trade early. Don't sit there and expect just because it went up higher, it will continue to go up higher because the markets are readjusting and the machine is readjusting as it goes. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a great example of being able to nail a stock chart with a prediction based out of what we call Annie. Wow. I love and, that. Like, can I just say also, can we pull that chart up again? Because I, I just want viewers to note something because mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you brought up this example because what I see on that chart from a trader's perspective is when the stock first goes down, it's considered a false breakdown, right? And then it recovers and goes higher. So I call this the shakeout before the breakout. And a lot of people, you know, if they don't not using a model like this, they get shaken out on that down move and they sell, yes. not knowing or predicting where things are going to be, you know, one month, two months, three months down the road. Um, and I just love that what you're doing takes the emotion out of it, just as, you know, Tradesmith with the VQ indicators do as well. Uh, I think that is just so key for the average investor to really understand and, and that can help them in their trading as well. Absolutely. Excellent. So the shake out before the breakout. <laughs> I love I, it. I you love know, that. you gotta, you gotta shake the tree a little bit before it can actually <laughs> grow higher. It's like, it happens in nature as well. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. So Ian, I have to ask you what, makes Tradesmith's Annie program pivotal in your for your point of view, your perspective for everyday investors? I mean, it's just the first time that you're able to actually use the new technology to your uh, investments. And if you think about it, Amber, we talk about this a lot, right? The people who are able to harness AI are going to 10x their work production. Developers who use AI are going to be able to 10x the amount of programs they can write. Mm -hmm. Traders who can use AI, like we've already seen with Jim Simons over the last you know, 30 years, are able to outperform everyone else, right? So why not take advantage of it now while it's a, a national technology and not everyone is using it? Yeah, you know, I think back <clears throat> to me, AI is like magic, right? There, I've told you there are only a couple things that I've come across in my lifetime that are magic. It was the first time I got an email, the first time I drove an electric car way back in 2009, 2010. 
And the first time I typed in a, a prompt into chat GPT and it wrote an entire story for me. So this is something that's magical. It's taken off this year. You can obviously tell by the stock market. We've invested in a number of AI companies. We recommended investing in AI companies that have done great. This is a way that you can actually employ AI in your investing strategies to, you know, I would say supercharge your portfolio. So, you know, if you're around tomorrow night, please check us out at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, I don't want to overhype it too much, but I, you can tell I'm really excited about this. And I do think if you're not able to make it tomorrow night, we're going to have some some replays, of course, uh, in the in the following days. So That's excited. Great. Very exciting. So, Keith, before we wrap up, I'd like to ask you this. Uh, can you please share with viewers three main benefits of Annie and why they should make this AI program a part of their overall investment strategy? Oh, absolutely. Great question. So, you know, I think probably the first big one that that I really like, um, you know, and it's something I covered a little bit earlier, but that I think is really important. Mm -hmm. Annie is non-emotional. It's looking at everything that we have fed it. It's actually a hundred different factors that we have fed it over a 50 year period of historical data, plus all the real time data it's gathering every day. Because look, the markets are always different. They really are. Anybody that tells you we've seen this before. I always feel like it's it's like, no, we haven't seen this. So any with its 50 years of data and its real time data processing uh, combined with its macroeconomic fundamental and technical indicators, that is the real bread and butter. It is constantly learning. We as humans, we're constantly emotional, you know, and so, you know, to me, it's almost like having 20 different flavors of an analyst by your side. Now, that analyst that's by your side and Annie is robotic. You do miss that sort of human touch, you know, what Ian brings to the table where it's like he's really, you know, diving deep into a business and finding things that you can't put into an indicator. But when you think about what a lot of these hedge funds are doing, it's all indicator, quant driven, AI driven. So we're doing the same thing as hedge funds, but we make it super simple. If you've ever seen what a hedge fund passes around internally, it is gobbledygook. It's nearly impossible for someone who's not Ian to be able to read. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's, that's the first thing. Second thing is we have 3,000 of the most popular stocks and funds, and we're constantly expanding to much more that are driven by this anti program that we're giving 30 day projections on. These are predictions. You can look at that within our system without you know, any help. It's so simple to, to search these up in seconds. You can do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And um, I think the third thing that's really cool is that you can integrate this right into your portfolio within our system. You can look at the newsletters that you're subscribed to right in our system. And you can get these short-term conviction help for you, 30-day windows, where we're looking at the next 30 days and telling you what we expect for that individual stock or fund. Ian may have a holding period on a stock of two months. He may have it of two years based on what his thesis is that's playing out. So when you think about all the different places that you go for information, being able to, to come into our system and get a lot of confirmation is really what Annie's going to do for you. If you hear about a stock on TV or if you're at a dinner party and somebody's saying, have you ever heard of this company? At least you could have a system that you can go to that has no bias except for the factors that are in there and help you get a good sense of what's going to happen in 30 days. Amazing. Well, everyone, there you have it. An AI investing tool for Main Street investors is born. Say hello to Annie. So everyone, just as a gentle reminder, just one more time, if you'd like to attend this event, it will be starting tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the 25th of July, the Predictive AI Investment Event. Uh, this event will offer all the details on Annie, uh, what the program can do, and how it has the potential to help Main Street investors just like you and me and help us make money. So to make sure you don't miss it, please sign up via the email link that accompanies this video. So gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining me here on the Banyan Edge podcast. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. It's great seeing you both. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow night, as well as all of the folks that tune in. So thank you very much. Well, you're most welcome. And thank you everyone for watching. We appreciate you so much and have a wonderful, great week ahead. Thanks everyone.